Um, what gets me out of bed in the morning is chasing my dream of uh, being the best competitor I can be um, and hopefully being able to win a gold medal in uh, a Paralympic Games. I'm Timothy Hodge. I swim in the S9, SB8, SM9 class and I swim every stroke, mainly backstroke and individual medley. When I was four and a half, just after I had my right foot amputated. Um, I remember sitting in bed and I still had my leg bandaged and everything. Um, and I hadn't got my prosthesis at that stage. And um, I remember saying to my mum, oh, uh, I'll, never be, I'll never be good at anything now. Because I, I couldn't walk, I was bound to a wheelchair most of the time, just recuperating from surgery. My mum said, oh, don't, don't say that, we'll put you in different sports, we'll see what you, what, what you can do, what you like, um, and we'll find something that you'll be good at. And I initially started swimming as rehabilitation. Since then I've never thought that, no I can't do anything. I've always thought that, well it's tough, but swimming's tough as well. I went from four and a half years old in a wheelchair to competing uh, at state competitions for school at the age of nine to making my first Australian team at 15 um, and I think that based on that you can in four years five years you can turn things around um, and I definitely think that that uh, motivates me now to put in a lot of hard work for the future um, especially Tokyo 2020 and beyond. My uh, name's Clinton Camilleri, uh, head coach of Auburn Swimming Club. I've been coaching now for approximately 12 to 13 years and I've been at this program here for going on three years. I think disability is one that you can easily get hooked up on. So if we really spend a lot of time thinking or focusing on it, uh, I guess it overemphasizes what the disability is. Um, whereas when we just worry about what we can do well and really work hard on being the best at that, the disability is really fading to the background for me. So that's one of his, his main attributes, he, he gets us to work a lot, no matter whether we're para-athletes or avoid athletes. If I push you the same as the others, you'll get even further because you've started off at a lower point, but once you get to the same point as everyone else, you'll have worked harder, you'll have gone further, and um, in the end that'll make you a, a better person. And I think that mentality from a coach definitely helps. As a person, um, there are always going to be low times, there are always going to be hard times. It defines you what you do, what you choose to do. Um, whether you let those lows consume you or whether you basically ride them out and then take every chance you get to pull yourself back up and to basically keep going. For me, sport is a good part of life. It teaches us some valuable lessons, teaches us how to work for goals. And again, inclusion. So regardless of who you are or what you contribute, everybody's turning up here equally um, to learn some pretty good lessons about life. Tim himself got incredibly good uh, HSC scores last year and he's gone on to university uh, studying um, engineering, so quite successful. I know how it feels to be at one stage, feel like you, you can't do anything, you have no I guess purpose. Probably my message would be don't quit. You can take breaks, you can take vacations from uh, difficult points in your life um, just to, to kind of reset and reevaluate, but don't, don't necessarily quit. If you, you give it time, your point of view will change, so will your work, work ethic, and it can potentially lead to anything.